Thanks to the absolutely amazing Spider-Man No Way Home art book, we've learned plenty of details recently in regards to changes and approaches to characters and costumes. Today we're talking about the demand that they had for Green Goblin and what they had to change for his debut. So of course the Green Goblin from Spider-Man 1 has for decades at this point, literally two decades, been called a Power Ranger. And you can see why exactly they called him that and how this suit doesn't necessarily fit the MCU if it was just to be brought over one-to-one -one and permanently be in there. But through the multiverse, it made a little bit more sense and that's exactly what the book reveals. They reveal that Marvel Studios, when they learned, hey, we can have this suit, we can bring back the actor that played him, we can have everything, they went to the drawing board, and the one demand that they had was, you can bring the suit in because it has to be in because of the moment of his death and all that, but we got to change it. So they went through all those different iterations of how to try to approach the Green Goblin suit, with a different angle and more or less none of them worked because they were such a huge departure so the idea that they settled on was let's just take the goblin and retrofit it with a couple of things to make it look like it could fit in the mcu but still keep the essence of it and that's what they went for and that's what we get by the end of the film which i think was an absolutely smart and genius decision let's not change the suit completely let's just add take away break parts off put this on him take this away kind of make it a mashup of a couple of things use elements that we have in the mcu and we're gonna play with that and that's what they did and that's honestly the way you have to handle it because again you got to evolve it and we know that there's a element of hey we got to get new toy sales but also it makes sense from a character standpoint and the story they were telling so it does make a whole lot of sense. And we of course saw iterations that I already talked about where they tried to give him like half Iron Man armor and stuff, which were again, going in a completely different direction that I think they were smart to abandon and say, you know what? This is a little too far. We're straying away from what Norman Osborn's armor was. Let's just fix what we have. 